Uh, Caleb Murphy, man. I mean, this dude right here, all he does is get to the quarterback. I mean, yeah, I man, like this dude. This dude is causing havoc, man. I mean, I think he's a lot already to be on this team. And I'm going to get y'all's thoughts about it after this video. I've been watching this Caleb Murphy the last two weeks in Tennessee. Free agent, undrafted. But he looks like he has an idea how to rush the passer. Like, I understand this is not the starting right tackle for the Vikings. But away from the slide, he goes inside. Swim move right here. Okay, takes down Nick Mullins. Now you watch him a little bit later in the game, okay? And you watch this right here. Here he comes. Now, what's the number one rule for defensive end rushing outside? De don't get deeper than the quarterback. So the quarterback steps up. What's he do? Spin. He's got a plan. And then when he gets there, he gets there in an angry mood. Like, I don't know what the role of Kayla Murphy is going to be, but he Tennessee Titans want pass rushers. Man, you can never have enough pass rushers, man. I mean, shoot, man. This guy, like I said, I'm going to get y'all thoughts, but I think he's already locked to be on this roster. So, Five Stone, you think he's a lock to be on this roster already? He plays well enough to be, but, like, let's think here, too. How many people do we have? Like, we got a deep defensive line, so I want, to, I want him to be on there, but we got Tier Tart. We got uh, Weaver, we got Audrey, we got Simmons, we got Landry, we got Arden Key. Like, are we actually going to have the slot for him to have? He deserves it. He he damn sure deserves it. But are we actually going to have that slot to actually give him that also ain't just going to not give him the opportunity to flourish either because he got some good tape. He looks he makes some good moves. He looks like he has IQ, a football IQ and knows how to get to the QB. But we're so depth i don't know if he's actually going to get it because of either a we are so de deep and we aren't going to need to be able to have that slot or even if we did have a slot for him he wouldn't get no gaming time and that would be fair to his talent i think you're going to appreciate this comment right <laughs> well it, it's coming from me but Filestone, i think you're going to appreciate this right here i'm going to talk just like your typical everyday titans fan man look I would cut Will out. Oh, no, not Will Levis. I would cut <laughs> Malik Willis, put him Ooh. on the practice squad, and keep Caleb Murphy on the 53 man roster. That's a good point. That's a damn good point. Man, I. Well, I'm, cutting one, I'm, cutting, I'm cutting one of them backup linemen, bro. I'm sorry, bro. One of them backup offensive linemen, man. All the line being kind of trash, bro. <laughs> I just we we don't we don't need to get rid of. We can keep three quarterbacks without without taking a roster spot. So there's no purpose in cutting Malik. You might as well just go and keep him on the roster. But I don't know. I, I give you my take on Caleb Murphy. I think Caleb Murphy is going to be a good depth piece this season. Now in the future, if he gets better, he's going to take somebody's spot. He he's going to take a he, this this might be Harold Landry replacement, bro. I'm gonna be real. Like when Harold Landry contract is up, bro, that he might be his replacement, bro. Like that dude's gonna be a, he's gonna be a problem, man. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, all right now, I just see three players that you know. These are three players that I have on my mind that has been doing their thing, and they're gonna take somebody's spot in in from this preseason. That's Julius Chestnut. So you can go ahead and say bye bye to Hassan Haskins. He's getting cut. I'm gonna let yeah, you know. Yeah, he's Hassan Haskins fast. gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Julius Chestnut is running his butt off. Eric Garrard is playing his freaking tail off. And I promise you, if you watch it, if you watch these games, Eric Garrard it, it's been my favorite defensive player in this whole entire day, man. I'm telling you, watch number 33. Number 33, mm -hmm. I want him on my defense this season. <laughs> that guy has been playing his butt off. Caleb Murphy is a dog, bro. I'm telling you, the way I the pass rush moves that he's had this. This offseason, man, I've just been happy seeing him. You know what I'm saying? So, but them three guys, man, I've liked so far. I want Julius Chestnut right behind Derrick Henry and Tajay Spears. I want Eric Garage just somewhere in the, the cornerback lineup. And I want Caleb Murphy behind this defensive line that we have. Because somebody's going to get hurt. You know what I'm saying? He can just come right on out there and play. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, another guy, Karis Jackson. 
I, I really like Kerry Jackson from Georgia, man. He is playing his butt off too, man. I hate that he got hurt. They didn't get a chance to see a little bit more. But every time he get the ball, something good happens. And I noticed that when he was at Georgia, man. Every time he got the ball, something good happened. And I really, really like him. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, I, so, <laughs> go ahead, yeah. Faust, all the day. My bad. Hey, me. I know. I think we probably no, got no. You good. You good. You good. Yeah. You good. I, I definitely want to. Like, I would want to see him stay because of the fact, like, we've had Harold Landry injuries in the past, and we do want to have, like, we definitely need to dominate in the trenches. That's something we haven't been doing the past couple of years. And the last time we had a really good team and we got the number one seed, we was winning in them trenches on offense and on defense. So that Harold Landry gets hurt. We have a lot of – Defensive linemen get hurt from time to time, rolled ankles, stuff like that happens to us a lot. But also, like, I don't want to, I don't want to take away from the offensive line to give a spot for for him to stay neither, because we're still trying to figure out the offensive line. Offensive linemen get hurt a lot for us too. So, where do we let a piece go so he makes sure that he has a slot? Because I, I kind of want it to have that depth at the D line because our DBs need some help back there. They're, they're still having issues with covering, even though it's been preseason and our starters haven't really been, been playing the DBs have been having some issues. So I definitely want to get a good pass for us to where we can send three or four guys and get to the QB and get to the QB quickly. That way our DBs ain't got to be sitting there trying to stick with a man for three to four seconds. Okay. So yeah, I kind of got it figured out, man. Getting these guys on the roster, man. Like I said, man, send 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 Malik to the practice squad. <laughs> Get Caleb Ooh. Murphy on the squad. As far as Kyrus Jackson, go ahead and part ways with NWI. I know you I know they love Ooh. NWI and Ooh. everything, but if it came down to, if it came down to it. NWI wouldn't do any better at wide receiver two or one as Kyrus Jackson or any of those other rookies. I mean, it would be the same thing. And plus two, Kyrus Jackson, I mean, he's got the ability to return punts and kickoffs as well. Can NWI do that? No, he can't. So that's why I say if it comes down to it, at NWI, as far as Garrard or whatever, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can find somebody yeah, to cut, cut to DBs get him. To yeah, cut one of them DBs. I they yeah. just cut, they cut AJ Moore, so I was like, yeah, Garrard making that roster. You know yeah, what I'm saying? They, yeah, they yeah, yeah. They've been cutting yeah. receiver. Chris Jackson got cut, and I'm like, yeah, Garrard making this team. And that's the, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I've seen Wes Wesley do a lot of, do a big thing on him, and I'm like, yeah, bro, he's most definitely making the team. Hey, you know, he yeah. been the, the way they've been using. They got him returning kicks. They got him doing all type of stuff. I'm like, bro, like, yeah, man, he he's definitely making it. Yeah, that's, that's a variable guy. Well, you can do everything. <laughs> I just can't believe Morocco just said put Malik on the practice squad and let go of NWI. No, we just had two injuries, the wide receivers, and then the the second person you want to let go is another wide receiver. <laughs> 